And even got Wallaby with the Anji. I really liked Wallaby's Anji, but I'm not gonna lie. This is matchup wise, this is a little bit of a doomed case, I feel. I'm very curious to see if the changes to Anji mm -hmm. are significant enough to make this matchup look not as bad Dual as it has one. been, because this is very difficult for Anji to maintain oh, any pressure. Look, Frank, best believe the song playing in my head for the round is the final countdown, <laughs> because Wallaby is in for a rough time. He understands how to fight this matchup because he actually plays against Maz quite a bit, but all the Nagos here are very different. They're all going about different functions. We said Sage easily the most aggressive with his blood rage, so, or his blood, his blood usage. Wallaby's got to learn to respect that, and that's one good way to check him by that, by coming in with Fujin, getting the invisibility, and now Red RC gonna force him into the corner. That's a big counter hit, because now we're at the wall, and he's consistently wild with these wall combos. There's the break. Alright, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Oh, no back up. up. Oh, that's a big counter hit, that's gonna All take right. the first round. That was really risky. Trying to find the hits here, it just seems really difficult out the cut from all of But the people so important to be able to actually maintain the pressure. We're spinning forward, we're getting our wall bounce. Yeah, oh, missing out on the rest of the food. He's fine, though. He's no fine. finds the wall break. And Wallaby actually cruising pretty well here. Big punish. Oh, actually, not big punish. Gets hit by 2S. Two, uh, two not too much after that. Now let's see what he does. Oh, big dust. Big dust. Watch your head. That's going to be round one going to Wallaby. Also, chat, I recognize what you said. Don't worry. We're working on trying to fix my microphone in a second. Thank you so much for letting us know. Uh, because if you don't let us know, then we have no idea Duel that that's going one. on. Let's rock. Here, getting into round number two with Sage being, excuse me, Wallaby being, uh, Wall being up in the first game. Yep. Very well overall. I think he's played this matchup extremely well, just like you said, the, the, the matchup experience he has. It's very evident in how he's approaching fighting Sage. However, I also feel like Sage is doing, he's like overextending. I feel like the way that Sage is swinging is very gutsy and not justified with how safe and wild he is. Oh, that was a really good side switch, though. He got the if here by left and then walked up, made sure he kept him in the corner to guarantee that wall break. Now he's got positive tension, so not only does he have the first available, but he can blow RCs just like that, and he gets him on the switch up. But Wallaby, good block, well, he's stuck in the RC. Oh! No, get your ass off me! This is a big, I like that. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Absolutely. Sage taking that first round because of that. So let's see what happens here it's, uh, in, this next, in this next round. Wallaby showing a little bit, like, show a, a slight, slight bit of a in that one, but that was really just good pressure from Sage and a good, uh, good, good wall switch to get himself back in. I think Wallaby is going to have to take this set as quick as possible. Otherwise, I feel like Sage is going to make the proper adjustments to be swinging as smart and aggressive as he needs because we've seen him be swinging in the game. But he could go off off that one hit. But the opening game has shown that he could still overextend a bit. Here though, I think he played game two fantastically. I'm gonna see the one one count. And I am worried for Wallaby. One of the things that was really good in that match, too, he played super burst safe. Like, super, yes. super, super burst safe. He made sure Wallaby wasn't able to get out of anything. He got a lot of grabs. And he keeps this, he's been keeping the strength very simple. He's not been overcomplicating them in any way. And that's where it gets scared against Nago. Because you expect him to capitalize big. But Wallaby gets in. Red RC, forced him into the corner. No burst here. Actually, wait till the end. I think he was trying to make sure he didn't have a burst safe. Soon as he saw him a golf in the ground, he knew he was going to block it. Ooh, with a dust to catch him slipping. All right, let's get some damage. No, let's not get some damage. Or great I really like what he did there because he went originally to wait for the first. The first never happened. So he goes to BRC to try and still confirm because he never went for first. But the Wallaby saw through it and he got the first though. But now Wallaby got him in the mix. Trying to get that first drop. Goes for the low. Good block. And that time blocking the high. That, uh, don't red that time. Straight out though. That's in favor of Sage. Sage is forced to make very quick adjustments in the set, and I think it's looking really good because of that. It looks to be a much more even-handed battle because now Wally is also adjusting, and it looks like he's playing a bit more aggressively now. He already came up the cut looking more aggressive than we saw in previous sets, 
But here, he's finding his ways into the corner and making it count. Yeah, yeah you see Wallaby start waking up with a big bust. 6P anti-air, absolutely not having anything to do with it. Good <laughs> grab. We'll have break there. We have been seeing so many people grab me ever since, like, the ice set. So, oh, yellow RC, though. I'm done with you. I'm going to snatch you up. What did you do about the pressure? Not going for anything crazy and tries to find the dust. He had no burst, so I agree with that. Use it while, while you got it. Here's the burst. Yeah, use it while you got it. Both of these as players. As soon as Beyblade goes off, rip it and unhit. Don't wait till after because that's burst safe. But Wallaby. Gets himself the round. Looked like it was going to save. And now we're back to game three here in the actually in game three. Round three in game three. This has been such a neck and neck set. It's just so close right now. Red RC to keep the pressure up, making sure it stays his turn. Tries to find K's way out and save. Goes for 5S. Tries to find a gap hit. Big counter hit trade. And now he gets in. No dust break. And this is back to Nooch. He's just too antsy on the button. And because of that, we're way out of the corner. We're in the opposite corner. It's Sage favored. Find the wall break. What? Look at that blood meter! Oh yeah, blood is huge right now. It's starting to slowly come back down for him, so he gets a chance to go for some more strings. He doesn't really get a chance to play right now, though. He's just going to get wall broken for Wallaby. It's not going to kill, but he does have a very scary looking stage on the other side. BRT to start. Two edge counter hit. He's got run on Caesar. He gets to close it out. And oh, he's still... He at the last second, but he closes it, and Sage moves up here. 2-1 in the set. Oh my goodness, this has been incredibly back and forth so far. This has easily been one of the best sets we've had, uh, especially with Anji fighting against the army of Nago. Like, Sage's unbridled aggression has finally met its match, with Wallaby upping the ante on how well he's playing on counter hit. And even though Sage has been eating his hits a lot smarter since the beginning of this set, Wally is still adjusting. We're seeing a lot of adjustments from both players, the way they're facing the buttons, and how well they're grabbing, and we finally get to see some butterfly action. Say, speaking of adjustments, he hasn't really gone from Fusion into grab, and that led him to the safe block pressure from the butterfly, and that let him take that first game. So Wallaby answering right back here, trying to move this to a game five. He needs to capitalize on the drop, answering him, catches the counter hit, that's gonna be a wall carry. You got no burst, so now I can get this close out, and he gets positive attention. Wallaby is running with this match right now. Wallaby on the wall, maybe better do it. Big can. punish, big whip punish. The crowd popping off on that one. Like, oh, oh, oh. oh, and the super. Is it? Big dust though, and Wallaby cruising through with this game four. So he doesn't drop this. AJ, we're going to game five. five. What the perfect act that. What an incredible match it's been so far. Probably gonna, I, if I'm saying I'm taking applause. I am pausing for a second after that one. Exactly. Recoup, recollect, don't run right back in. You gotta Get breathe. your brain back into it, man. We get in a game five. Anji versus Nago Ryuki. This has been incredible. Every hit matters from both of these players because if Wally can't maintain his pressure, Sage on countering him has proved devastating. But if Sage will resets even a tiny bit, Wally's finding every opportunity to make it a corner carry, break that wall, and the cash in big on neutral. How many times have we seen Wallaby read 5H with Fujin to get in now? BRC, he knew he was going for it. Not going to get 2H counter hit that time, though. I'm seeing through you. Sage now going for a bunch of low pressure. Gets the grab. Goes for dust. Doesn't go fully charged, though. He gets the damage. Oh, big burst punish. Now, all of a sudden, that lead that Wallaby had disappearing in front of his eyes. Big counter, both of them have meter. Oh, the the He's going to get counter hit off with of big damage. Hold up. You see how little that health is moving right now. That's the guts coming in from uh, Nago. Gets the first out. One bad decision equals the uh, equals this first round. Find those hits. Let's see the approach. He, and he strikes low. He had no meter to make sure he wouldn't get chipped out. You can't spend the cash to make sure that that chip damage doesn't happen. And that's a Fujin meeting him. But Sage gets the block up. But back in the wall, it's been like this time and time oh! again. Oh, I'm gonna go right on out of it. Anji got no damage. It was like 60. But right now, coming in, keeping that pressure up, trying to get Sage back out. But don't win in front of Nago. That's not a good time for you. Running up, gets got a hit off of 5 H. Gets him to the corner. Teleports in. He has BRC. Oh, He's gonna get him. 
He's trying to find these low hits. Oh, he gets the invincible to come in. What does he do? Catches him on the low. Watch your toes. Let's go, baby. Go right to the corner. What is Sage doing about the He gets hit on the overhead. Oh, the burst of face. Just like and that. That is Wallaby taking that round. No burst on deck for either. Last round of this game five set here in Loser's Top Six. Hey, listen, bro. Don't call it a comeback because Wallaby was saying that's not the character change. That's all him. No. And he's been proving it each and every round of Don't this call it a set. Bro, Wallaby, my name's Wallaby. I've been here for years. But Sage trying to show he's got the work, moves to work with it too. He gets him to the corner. Red RC, he's going to have positive attention. Wallaby almost at first. He has a meter too. This is so scary right now. Gets hit. No burst yet. He can't get out. He's got burst on deck now. He has to watch out for his meter. Red RC coming in. Positive attention, low blood. This is the perfect situation for Sage. He can't afford to get hit in these kind of situations. This Wallaby corner carries so effectively. 11 hits all the way to the corner. Now you gotta watch out for this whole string. Does he go for overhead? No, he yellow arms. Just like that. that is Sage taking it away from Wallaby. And what was one of the best sets we've had all night? You can see Maz over there putting his hand behind his head. Sage throwing the controller down to that stress. That was 